guys, it's Valerie from Earthrella Soap and Candle Company. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about my um, my birthday cake candles with the sprinkles. So I thought I would show you really quick how I make them. I get a lot of questions about how I get my sprinkles to stay on the inside of the jars. So I'm going to show you. I use Mod Podge. I use the one in the orange container. There's a couple different ones. Um, so I use Mod Podge and I use a little foam brush and then I have my sprinkles and I make sure I don't wick my jars until they're done setting um, when the sprinkles are already inside and they're done setting. As you can see, you can still see the Mod Podge, the, all the white stuff is like the, the glue, the Mod Podge and it will dry clear so you know it's not dry yet when you can still see the white of the Mod Podge. So I just get my foam brush, get a good amount on there but not too much, and then a clean jar and I start in the, the, uh, the bottom corner edge and I just go all the way around and I make sure that I do not get the very bottom center that where the wick goes because that will mess up the adhesion from the wick tab or um, if you use glue or um, a wick sticker. So I just make sure I get all the way around. And it's okay if it comes up on the, on the edge of the rim or whatever because it's going to dry clear and you're not going to see it anyways. So then I just get my little thing of sprinkles and I just turn the jar while I'm pouring them in. And I shake it and then I shake it as I continue turning it around. And then anything that's left over, I dump back into my sprinkle container. Now I wanna make sure there's no loose ones. So anything that's loose, I wanna make sure they come off. And that is how I get my sprinkles to stay on the inside of my jars. So then after this, once it, uh, as you can see, see how white it is? Because I just did this one. And here's one I did a few minutes ago. So you can see the difference. It dries pretty quickly, but I will probably let these sit 24 hours because I don't need to make them today. So um, I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours and then tomorrow I will wick it. And I use um, hot glue. So I'm gonna wick these tomorrow and then I'll probably pour them a little bit later after I get them all wicked. Um, and then that's all there is to it. So that is how I, the secret to getting my sprinkles to stay on the inside of my jars. I'll do another one here. I got my Christmas music going. <laughs> I always seem to work better when there's music playing anyways. All right, so as you can see, I did not get the bottom center. And there you go. And I wanted to point out um, that the reason I don't put my wick in the jar um, before I put my sprinkles on is because if I was to put my wick in first and then when I get my my brush, when I'm going like this around my brush inside of it, um, it's going to, you're, it's kind of hard to not get some of the Mod Podge on your wick. So, um, and then if you get some of the Mod Podge on your wick, when your customer goes to light the candle and when it's burning, it's going to clog the wick and it's gonna stop it from burning. So you don't want your customers to have any issues with the burning. So make sure you do not um, put the wick in until after you're, you have your sprinkles in and it's all set um, to go. So that's all there is to it. Hope this, um, was helpful to you if you were interested in making these sprinkled candles and thank you so much for watching.